Hey everybody, I'm recording an Isaac thing. Oh shit, I just realized I don't have the game sound on. There we go. Now you guys can hear it. <sighs> We're doing something special. The Isaac subreddit has had a daily seed. Uh, if you just go back and pause, you can see the seed. So I'm gonna start doing the daily seed. I don't know if I'll do it every day, but I feel like it's a good idea, and it's motivation to play more Isaac, and I know you guys want more Isaac, so I'm gonna make more Isaac stuff. Uh, mistake. Definitely should have saved that for a secret room. But it's okay. I'm glad it starts with basement one. And I have not read the thread at all for the daily seed. Um, because that would be like borderline cheating. But I think what I'll do is after the run, like after I finish a normal attempt at the seed every time, I'll go back through it with like the. Uh, not floor editor, but, um... Oh, boy. Uh, what am I saying? The, um, teleport to room thing. And we'll see how, like, what I could have done differently that would have resulted in different things. But so far, this is starting out pretty well. Got one of the bigger damage ups in the game. Right off the bat for free. Oh boy. That's really good. Can't see like any of Isaac's face at all now. Mm. Won't be getting a devil deal here. I was gonna say, unless we get Magic 8 Ball and get a High Priestess card, but that's impossible. Also, by the way, if you're at all interested in doing this daily seed that the subreddit has, um, if you actually want the same run as everybody else, you need to have Platinum God. Otherwise, it will not work. Like, you'll be able to play a seed with the same number, but it will not actually be the same run at all. Like, even the floor layouts will be different. Um, I will come back. Actually, you know what? We're gonna play this all the way down to half a heart. Because if we get hit in the boss room, screw it, game over. Or if we get hit on the floor at all, I'm probably just going to reset anyways. Because I want my devil deal. Um, hmm. I'll leave that for now. Actually, you know what? I'm going to buy the soul heart because I have plenty of money. I and mean, I'll actually leave that for now because... Uh, We've already played a little bit into the, um, into the blood bank, so there's a decent chance that we'll be able to get the, um, IV bag or something. And assuming I do get the IV bag, it's just straight up game over. Like, that would already be a win. Let's see what we got. Also take these. Oh boy. Alright, I think what I'll be doing is rolling this. I think I'll roll this and take Bum Friend. Because I have enough health to play the Blood Bank a decent amount where Bum Friend will probably pay out with more hearts that I can play more of the Blood Bank. So, roll it. 
got plenty of money. Unfortunately, that's not the type of thing that bum friend can pick up. But now we can go in the shop, get bum friend, go back in the arcade, play the remainder of my health into this. And with PhD, it makes it even more awesome for bum friend. So you should pay out. Really? That's all you're gonna pay out with? Well, wow. alright. Let's see what we can do with some gambling. In before, not much. Alright. Oh boy, okay. Should pay out like once or twice. Yeah. Cool. Play that once. Get another payout. Full health? Balls of steel. Okay. Let's keep this gravy train rolling, please. No. Mm, no. I'm gonna come back to that. I don't want Skatol specifically, so I can try and get more hearts. Because hearts are worth so much more right now, since I have money capabilities via the blood bank. Come on. Really? Not gonna pay out. Scum? Let's keep gambling for a little while. I wonder if the um, shell game is seated. Like when you'll win and lose. Depending on whether you took Lucky Foot. It would be really neat if it was. Probably isn't. Ugh. I really want hearts. Or that. One. Good. I want an IV bag, so I can just call this a win. Oh, boy. Did we get a devil deal here? I believe we did. Yeah, it was Krampus. Okay. Uh, I think what we'll do is not continue playing that. I'll just enjoy the fact that I have bum friend for now. And enjoy my money and damage. And we'll see what this is. It's the ladder. Take this for some extra insurance. And you know what? I'm gonna pick this up. Okay, speed up is nice. Just because we have PhD, there's not much reason to avoid that. I did play a little bit of damage away. But it could have been a tears up, so it's definitely worth the three cent risk. Good bum friend did not kick the bomb. It's great. Come around, get the key. Assuming I don't get a devil deal on this floor, I will get a devil deal on this floor. Assuming I choose the correct wall once the boss fight is over. And if you don't know what that means, hopefully you'll see when we beat the boss. the ladder could have gotten me a key. Damn. Mm. Nuts. Can't get that. 
that. And I could, but it would cost me my High Priestess, which I am not okay with. For this floor, the High Priestess is functionally a Joker. But it's a slightly more difficult to use Joker. And by slightly, I mean pretty much infinitely. Uh, no. Don't take that yet. We'll go this way. Okay. You pay out with whatever you're gonna pay out with. That's it. Damn you. Oh, damn. Okay. Likely that the, the uh, devil room will be on the right side. It's very unlikely that it'll be on the bottom. It's just not a common spawn place for it. So, we'll do the boss fight normally, and then after the boss fight, assuming I don't die, I shouldn't die, might die. Actually, wow, wow. I really don't want to use the uh, High Priestess on uh, Pestilence. Okay. We should be alright. Phase 2 is easy. As long as you're not dumb. Like me. Almost walked onto the creep there because I wasn't paying any attention. Still haven't taken red heart damage on the floor either. So there's a decent chance that I could still get a devil deal. Like, naturally. Nope. Okay. Here's what we do. Not that. I need to... Uh... Sure. Yes. Awesome. If there is a heart somewhere on the floor. I know there is a heart drop somewhere on this floor. But I need to grab it. I kind of wish I could take two heart, uh, two hits right now. But I can't. There we go. It's, um, it's so almost worth charging the pill bottle to get that. But this will do. I'm not going to get a roll, so hopefully this devil room is good. Oh, damn, I didn't do it right. Well, that sucks. That's really rough, actually. Because now I don't get <laughs> I don't get to roll or get a free devil item. And I'm down to half a heart total. So high likelihood of death right now. Oh please. Coins or hearts. The coins did not give me what I needed. The lag. Okay. Safe room. Still actually a pretty okay room. This rock shall be my savior. Why is Meat Boy not firing? Oh. I wasn't holding the fire button long enough. Hmm. Blue baby soul doing work. Oh god. Okay. I'm guaranteed to get some health back, I'm pretty sure. Two of you 
use the Liberty Cap to see where our rooms are. Okay. Boss to the bottom, item room to the top. Top right. So I guess we're going item room. Then we'll go to the boss, because I don't have money for the shop now. That was dumb. That was bum friend that collected that coin, not me. friend payouts are weak. Mm, I don't know. It's kind of hard to skip out on the miter. Alright, let's see what this boss is going to offer. Probably not much. Especially since I ballsed up the devil deal trick. Ow. Ah, stop. Jesus. <clears throat> oh. Well, I am the 1% now. like to not die. So I would like to see what more this seed has. Alright. Not exactly sure what I'm doing still going through this floor. Especially when we get rooms like this and I have a full d6 roll already. But I guess we can claim that, that the main idea was getting soul hearts from miter drops. It's not actually true at all, but, you know, gotta sound confident. Ah. Seriously, bum friend, please. I need to learn what his threshold actually is for paying out. Because I know when I do the IV bag trick, he just goes nuts. But that's because he's literally getting infinity money all at once. Mm, this is... Eh, it could be greed. It's not greed, damn it. I was actually really hoping for greed so I could get... Either the steam sale or just some money. Uh, let's see. Secret room could be here. Nope. Ah, uh, damn. I don't know where the start room was. I'm just gonna assume it can be here, too. Yeah. Okay. Damn you, Bumverin. Didn't actually want you to collect it. See what we're looking at here. Luckily, we got Depths One, not Necropolis, so that's good. And by the way, excuse the sniffling. I hate spring. It's the worst season. Or I guess it's no, it's not summer yet. It's still spring. It's almost summer. No, Moz, go away. Cool. 
found the boss. Unlikely to be useful. Unless it's like Gish or something. In which case, I still won't have a Devil Deal. Mostly because I took damage already. Oh, great. I don't want this. This is actually completely useless for me. I'm not taking level 3 Meat Boy. I'm not guaranteed to get level 4. And level 3 is too stupid, too slow, and doesn't do enough damage. And doesn't protect me. Get hit again. Let's see where my item room is. Will probably be like an inexplicably insane bitch to find. Cannot be there, because left of boss room. Until I see what's two rooms above me, it's unlikely that it could be directly above me. Oh god, what am I doing? Oh die in this room because of poor play. Okay. Very unlikely that the secret room is where I thought it might be. Really wish I found my item room because all this damage I'm taking is just rolls that I can't use. Let's see if it's here. Because it could be. Yep. Alright, get to it. I don't need the money. Sweet, thank you. It's like the first time you've been actually useful. Assuming nothing good in this shop. What the hell? Did that guy seriously halfway turn into a psychic maw when I came in? Pretty sure that's what happened. <laughs> the head just attached. That's great. Uh, not paying attention. It's gonna get me killed. curious as to whether I had actually picked the wrong wall when I messed up the High Priestess glitch, or if I just did it incorrectly. Because it looked like I did it incorrectly. But it could have just been that I picked the wrong wall.
Okay, super greed. This won't be that bad. Now it's really not that bad. Unless I die. Didn't die. Okay, bum friend's gonna pay out with a decent amount of stuff. Spades is not what I need. Oh, bloody penny though. And child's heart. With the miter. Nice. Ah, uh, but I can't take both. Guess we're taking bloody penny. And we're gonna go and re-roll. Um, okay. That may save it. We're definitely not chest material right now, but this can go places. I just hope I don't now come across mom's knife. So I'll be real sad. Cause quad shot and mom's knife don't synergize yet. Ah, uh, why did I take that? I said I wasn't gonna take that and I accidentally touched it. Floor. God. Meat Boy, if it was possible for you to be useful in this room, I'd be so much more mad. Definitely not going in the boss yet. Gotta see what the item room has. Can't just skip item rooms when you have this many keys. What? That was the most preemptive spike ever. So close to dying for no reason. Not sure why I didn't just bomb straight out of that room. Please be fate. That could have killed me. That's the opposite of fate. Oh god. <laughs> Alright. Hearts. Please. Those are bombs. That's Katol. More bombs. Oh my god, if you don't give me a single heart, I'm going to kill you. suppose the way that worked is I got a beggar to pay out, therefore, bummer flag. Tears up. Not useful. Oh uh, man, that candle though. Oh! Or that. You know. Okay. Yeah. 
should be, yep, same seat. Okay, so now for what I wanted to do after the run, teleport to room, see what the secret room had. It had a lot of money. So if we had gotten this, we would have probably had an arcade on the next floor, which we do. Oh, wait, well, we had an arcade no matter what. So we know the shop has bum friend. Uh, let's see what we would have had. Ah, that's a problem. Hang on. One second here. You're gonna see my desktop. It's gross. Anyways, I needed to um, reopen the game. There. Now we've got the seed. Alright, let's see what the devil room had. It was that and that. Because we got that guppy's head. So the next items, yeah, guppy's head in the quarter. Um, we'll just give ourselves 9 volts for the sake of rolling. Um, doesn't look like we were looking at very good devil items here. Yeah, those devil items kind of suck. Alright, so... Let me collect all this money again. Let me... Recollect Bum Friend. Uh, we will... Actually, I need to go into every item room. I also need to take the same items that I did before. Let's go to the error room. Oh. Huh. Interesting error room. Horrible item pool, apparently. Let's see what this is. Wiggle worm now. Hmm. What was the first boss item that I had? I don't remember. I don't remember having wiggle worm, that was weird. Teleport to floor four. What's the secret room? I'm most interested in the secret rooms of uh, every floor. Let's see. Secret room. More money. Kind of just curious as to whether. Um, As to whether there were any, like, uh, epic fetus or anything like that. This one I actually did go to. Go to floor seven. Go. Oh, it's greed in the secret room here. I definitely would have gone to Satan. So that's where we're gonna go. Oh, and by the way... Um, oh god. <laughs> I just need to not die in this room, because demonstrate what the glitch I was trying to do was. You've all seen it, probably. Whoops. Okay, whatever. Ah, I don't get to do it. Oh well. We'll 
just go down here and destroy the devil. Ah, after I do this, I need to actually check the secret room. What? I'm not sure how that worked. <laughs> oh. Well, whatever. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Maybe. Depends. <laughs>